both uh, kind of research or, or audit uh, is hunt for the root causes. So in these terms, yes, uh, they are alternatives doing interviews with managers and doing penetration testing. My name is Timur Krotko. Uh, my special relationship with this methodology is that uh, my PhD research was done with uh, narrative interviewing, which is uh, uh, a kind of uh, qualitative interviewing. Uh, the, my uh, PhD research was about uh, uh, finding uh, how executive or top managerial mindset uh, defines the actual practice in a company. So I have a relationship uh, with this kind of approach of problems within the organization, how to capture them through interviewing people. Uh, now for, uh, for living, uh, I, with a couple of my friends, I'm trying to do uh, SecMachine.net, which is a network of application security specialists in Europe. Uh, we also do uh, DevDev conference, uh, builders conference in, uh, in October. And I am the leader of the uh, Hungary chapter of, of, of OWASP, uh, being a Russian citizen, so it's uh, a bit uh, confusing about me. So, um, my speech probably will not be that long, uh, and the agenda is uh, that I introduce you uh, the interview-based research, uh, short, <laughs> a short introduction to that, and uh, then I want to uh, explain why I think it's important to use this methodology uh, in application security uh, problems discovery. And uh, also one of my messages uh, is that uh, with this methodology, uh, you cannot find a best practice or like a silver bullet or what, I don't know what words are used for that. So it's uh, uh, very much dependent on the type of the culture of the company you are doing this research or interviewing in. And finally, I have some uh, preliminary, very preliminary, just uh, my impressions, uh, uh, thoughts about uh, uh, how uh, this uh, uh, audit relates to a certain types, preliminary types uh, that I defined. So the main points of uh, my presentation and this, uh, <laughs> so this uh, link is like a synonym for saying my presentation because it's a short link of my presentation. Um, so the main points are that uh, capturing problems or glitches with application security, uh, or you can say these problems with the secure uh, uh, um, software development lifecycle is also possible via interviewing managers as uh, 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 instead of uh, making uh, um, like usual dynamic and uh, uh, static uh, methods in order to uh, qualify uh, the application security processes in the, in the company. Uh, the other point is that uh, let's uh, let's see that uh, the participants of the development process, they already know many things and uh, they already aware of many problems uh, with the application security in their company. So we can use them to get know that problems. And uh, probably, and this is uh, the way of uh, the uh, qualitative research, that you as an interviewer 
of the competent person. You can talk with uh, the participants of that uh, life world, of that company, and you can uh, competently discover the problems they probably do not uh, interpret uh, as problems. Um, there are also a point that this m method of discovering problems uh, is uh, manager friendly, which is an important uh, uh, property of uh, this method. Um, it's not on the slide, but uh, it's also important that we, the, 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 the instrumentation, the tools of uh, this uh, um, methodology uh, is mature. So qualitative research or uh, interview-based research uh, has uh, decades of, uh, of uh, development. So you can use mature instrumentation uh, with this uh, uh, audit technology. Um, and also my suggestion is that uh, today when we, we uh, uh, more and more face organizations with already kind of advanced or mature application security, not beginners, um, this kind of uh, audit or consultancy based on uh, interviews becomes uh, more adequate and efficient. There are companies with established uh, uh, quality assurance practices and culture. That's one of the uh, consumers of uh, this kind of uh, uh, service interview-based uh, research. And so, since the target of application security audits and consultancy is mainly to find the root causes of the problems, uh, that also, in my opinion, helps uh, saying that this, this kind of approach is important today. So what is interview-based? Research, it's simple. It's about talking with managers, making interviews, and, uh, and also about analyzing the texts. I was uh, mentioning, I mentioned that there are uh, instruments or methods how to, uh, how to work with the text, with the result of your interview. Uh, I will not go into the details how to do it because the literature uh, uh, behind the research uh, is huge. So you are talking with managers and, and with workers, you analyze the text, that's how interviews based, interview based research works. This simple. Uh, I also want to point out that it's not a technical interview because uh, in IT, uh, consultancy and IT audit, uh, we always uh, use interviews, so it's nothing new about using interviews. My, uh, uh, what I am talking about is the quite uh, uh, focused uh, use of this kind of uh, interview in improving application security. Um, it's also uh, important to mention, or uh, due to my approach to the qualitative research, I would say that it's kind of a postmodern approach uh, to um, analyzing things and uh, qualitative, uh, <laughs> contrary to quantitative, means that we are working with no numbers, we are working with text, we are working with mean meanings, and uh, this, this is the property of postmodern approach that uh, we have a constructed word, we have uh, discursive uh, meanings or we have discursive reality. The reality does not exist, so there is no objective reality. We are uh, uh, living in the, in the world which is defined by our words. 
uh, its discussions, we can deconstruct the meanings and uh, there are social constructions that, uh, are, uh, that surround us. So all this is property of the uh, qualitative uh, uh, research, how I approach it. And I think uh, it, it's quite like weird, probably, what I'm saying about this postmodern thing, but it's important uh, in your approach um, to the application security problems in the organization when it comes to the organizational problems uh, behind the application security. Um, there is a, a special kind of uh, qualitative uh, interview-based research. Uh, that one is my favorite. That's uh, the narrative uh, research. Narrative interview when you ask people to uh, tell stories. It's important because when they tell stories, they uh, probably will uh, stop interpreting things. They will tell the stories. They will uh, give you the oral account of the reality, uh, of their reality, and this way you become uh, like an indirect participant of their reality. So if you are a competent person in identifying the application security problems, uh, then you can feel yourself in their reality and probably you can discover some problems. Um, and of course, uh, there are many negative uh, properties of uh, this kind of research because it's, uh, uh, it's subjective, it's uh, free from, for interpretation and uh, anyone can say, can, can blame that your questions already predefine the answers. Uh, it's, a, it's a long uh, like, uh, uh, disagreement in the scientific community. Uh, is it good or is it bad? Uh, however, we are not doing uh, scientific research uh, in this case. We are doing audits or probably we are doing coaching. So what, uh, what is important in the scientific research is not important here. It's not important to make uh, interviews, uh, <laughs> you can listen to my words. So it's not important uh, in uh, this kind of audit uh, to, to make uh, same panel of questions. Uh, uh, within different, different interviews because the aim is not to compare different cases of, uh, of different uh, uh, companies. Uh, so your interviews has not to be uh, comparable. So you only reuse parts of this mature uh, instrumentation and this mature instrumentation is, uh, of the narrative or qualitative research is mainly from the organizational development uh, uh, studies. It is important because uh, uh, when we are dealing with, with glitches of application security in the organizational context or in the, in the, in the processes, in the community of that organization, that's a kind of uh, organizational development. So you can use the organizational development uh, methodologies and strong instruments uh, in helping applica uh, improving application security. Uh, it's also, I, I, want, I thought it's important to mention that many businesses will never allow you to ask such questions uh, in this interview manner because interview uh, requires uh, people to be uh, honest. And uh, for example, if you are doing interviews with managers, well, it's property of a, of a good manager to, to uh, manage the picture uh, he or she uh, delivers to you by talking. So it's an important virtue of a manager to, to manage how you perceive 
uh, his words. So you have to be sometimes tricky in uh, making uh, interviews. Um, just a quick uh, introduction how to, use, how to do actual interviewing. I would say, uh, well, uh, most important thing, prepare. So uh, don't do interviews without preparing. Uh, and it's also important, it's not on the slide, uh, it's not, not that everyone uh, is uh, uh, capable of doing interviews. It's kind of, uh, uh, it needs a special person to be able to do good interviewing. Um, so prepare, prepare yourself, especially if you are not that comfortable uh, with doing interviews. Uh, like a practical uh, advice, uh, because uh, you are uh, asking for, uh, uh, um, for credible uh, account, uh, or honesty on, on the other side, uh, probably NDA is an important thing to have before uh, you approach something, some, somebody with their research. Of course, if it's business, it's consultancy, you will have that NDA. But anyway, uh, uh, before you are doing an interview, please send an introduction letter where you describe what will happen during the interview. Also, you can, of course, uh, uh, tell about it uh, in the beginning of the interview. And please agree on the, rule, on, on the rules of the talk, because it's important when, when you have uh, like uh, um, 90 minutes uh, to talk with the person, uh, you have to establish the rules, the choreography and the rules of your uh, talk. It will be more comfortable for the other person. And since you uh, want to, uh, to, so you expect uh, the other person being more or less uh, uh, open uh, with you, then probably in the beginning of your interview, you can show your own openness. So you can tell your own story. Uh, I used it <laughs> in a couple of interviews uh, uh, in the recent months and it worked. Uh, so for example, if you start uh, questioning a, a person like, uh, what, be, what would be your strategy in selling application security to your CEO? Uh, uh, I, in my case, started my interviews uh, with telling my case of such a question because there was uh, a failure in my uh, uh, professional life when uh, CISO uh, asked me to advise him how to sell uh, security to, to his CEO. It was many years ago, so my failure just taught me to, to deal with this problem. So uh, I'm just advising you to, to uh, maintain uh, this atmosphere of openness and probably it needs some like tricks to, to deal with it. Uh, well, I will not go into questions what you are, what you can ask, you can, uh, uh, you can access uh, this presentation on the link and, uh, and I don't know, I would be happy to, to discuss with you in other forums uh, what kind of uh, questions uh, are appropriate. So, and don't forget that uh, the interview is not only the interview. You have to analyze the interview and at the end, as it is a service, you probably deliver a report of uh, doing this work. So, uh, why to use interviews in application security field? Um, the main point is that uh, many of the application security glitches in the production, and let's define, I'm talking about software production and the application security glitches within that production. However, what uh, my statements, statements also apply to the situation when, when uh, software is uh, delivered by the third party, uh, 
uh, both cases has, uh, uh, has organizational uh, problems, problems of how the processes are uh, defined or organized, who has responsibilities, who has uh, schizophrenic situations of uh, uh, deciding between uh, like uh, delivery time, efforts uh, applicable to delivering a feature and, uh, and the, the uh, efforts uh, that uh, can be uh, burned on security. It's, these are choices and people uh, do these choices in the organization. So an organizational uh, choreography of, uh, of uh, dealing with these conflicts because organization is about the conflicts of the interests and managing in the processes these uh, conflicting interests. There is a conflict be uh, between the uh, security and, uh, for example, delivery time, and security and the budget, and things like that. Uh, who represents these interests in an organizational process? It's important to have a choreography and have a setup how these things are dealt with. So uh, with an interview-based research, you can go after these problems, speaking with managers. They can tell you how it happens, and you as a, uh, a competent person can tell them what you think about it, like a simple situation. <coughs> so you are ha hunting uh, for root causes. Um, as, in, as contrary to penetration test, when you control the quality of the product. And very, um, mm, so, it's, it's, so you can say that from the results of penetration test, you can tell what problems they have in the production process, it's possible. So indirectly, you can uh, advise a company uh, based on the, the impression uh, about the product quality <coughs> and security problems with the, with the product. But in case of uh, interview-based research, you go directly uh, to the root causes. That's why I say that it's important to use uh, this met method. Um, and again, uh, the participants, the, those who are work at that organization, they most of the time are aware of the problems. They just don't deal with them because that's the way organizations uh, work. Uh, we bash the problems, but we do, don't uh, uh, work with them. Or probably it needs a, a talk, uh, a joint talk uh, to change things. Uh, and consultancy, uh, so you need a consultant, you need an outsider to talk about your, oh, the word, I mean your, uh, your is the organization which does software production. So organization doing software production needs an outsider to talk with about the organizational pro problems and the problems with the processes because they are living in the box and you are an outsider. You have a fresh eye, probably, and you have, like, uh, uh, you have, uh, uh, you are enthusiastic about uh, speaking of the problems that they are probably uh, want just to forgot. Um, and also you can have a competent uh, interpretation, like an outsider and like a competent person. Um, <clears throat> uh, most of the time, uh, this kind of approach is applicable when a change, change is needed. So consultancy is needed at the process of change. So you come, you capture the problems, you observe the situation, you discuss things with the participants, because interviewing is also a discussion. And probably the discussion itself makes them aware of the problems they uh, were not about before. So you have fine solutions. So, so, 
So the outcome of an interview can be huge if it's the setting, the organizational setting, and your acceptance at that organization is good. Um, a couple of words of interview versus, uh, so VAPT, like uh, uh, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. So in case of, uh, of the penetration testing, the findings, the report is, for example, absolutely gibberish for the management. And that is a huge problem with application security uh, that security person delivers a report. That report is hardly understandable for uh, a couple of people on the other side, on the receiving side. And uh, probably it's still the case that many application security reports, I mean technical reports, uh, are not understandable uh, for the developers to, to work with them, to work with that report, to work with that uh, uh, findings. And many times the auditor, tester, the security tester himself does not uh, do a good job in making his finding accessible for uh, the developers. Uh, and many times security uh, testers don't know how to do development. So they can not, they are unable, they are important in helping uh, development process. But uh, what I can, uh, 10 minutes, uh, what I can say that you can use interview-based uh, uh, consultancy or interview-based uh, reporting uh, in combination with penetration testing. So it can be a combo. Make a technical uh, audit and make an audit in the organizational process because it's all about the same thing. I mean, if, you, if we are hunting for, uh, for the root causes and management is interested in the root causes, management is not interested in uh, uh, SQL injections. So uh, when you are talking with the managers in an interview, uh, you are using that kind of talk they understand. So even the process, I mean the interview, is meaningful for the management. Uh, for the management, it's meaningful. Your, your, the objective or, or the target or uh, yeah, the, the target and the aim of your research, it's more understandable for the management than penetration testing. And the reports based on or, or uh, about the organizational problems, they are also accessible for the management like in terms of understanding. So that's why I'm saying that it's a manager, management friendly kind of approach. Uh, I would say that uh, from interviewing, from making an audit, you can try upsell for a consultancy. So it's your opportunity to make a better business. Uh, like for benefit of your uh, client. And what I'm saying that using uh, in, in the interview based research is also uh, appropriate today because many organizations become mature in terms of uh, application security processes, secure development life cycles, <coughs> or quality, quality assurance as a whole. So here, when they want to improve themselves, so to improve or to re-engineer the uh, secure development process, uh, that kind of approach, that kind of method uh, can be uh, efficient, like interviewing about how they do the processes. And of course, uh, uh, revision of decision making is important because application security problems are oftentimes uh, uh, hidden in the decision making process. Uh, just shortly and preliminary, uh, what I'm saying uh, that there is no uh, standard uh, approach for uh, doing interviews in application security, I would say it's very dependent on the type of the culture of the organization you are working with. Uh, so uh, just like ideas, 
So requirement-driven culture, champion sustained culture, engineered regulations culture, and collectively, collective engagement and quality assurance, like another kind of culture. Uh, that's not the, the, the order of uh, betterness, <laughs> but uh, just types. And of course, uh, the other dimension, um, I would suggest is the maturity of application security and the organization. So requirements driven uh, culture, I think that this is the normal case of uh, software development. Developers deliver what they are asked to deliver in the requirements. That's the normal way. That's the lazy way, but that's how it's done in the, in, in, in the practical life. Uh, so it's nothing bad. Uh, despite the picture, uh, with uh, this case, I would say. Um, and this is the mass market. market. So uh, with the interview-based uh, consultancy, you probably help this organization to better their uh, uh, processes you can. And uh, the I would say in case of uh, many uh, advanced, uh, that's my like suggestion, I don't know. Uh, there's no research behind it, but I suggest that this is the mean and lean approach to this, to have champions, security champions in the development process. Uh, so these champions sustain the application security in the organization. So. For in my, uh, my observation is that this is an existing case of uh, implementing application security in the organization. Uh, not a bad case, but uh, uh, like a, a, a cheap case of, of doing it. For example, when you are doing interviews with these champions, it's harder because they have an opinion. Uh, but it's important because they uh, like, uh, promote security in the organization. They are the key figures of, uh, of, the, of the organizational application security management. Uh, yeah, uh, speaking about big companies, uh, regulatory uh, uh, participants uh, of, uh, it's only five minutes left, <laughs> so you can. Uh, uh, I will wrap up and then I will uh, happily answer the questions. So this is probably about the companies living in, in a regulated world. They need to be compliant and in order to need to be compliant, a large organization uh, develops an, a, 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 a large web of practices and uh, uh, policies and uh, decision-making processes, responsibilities. So it's a huge net of institution. And this, in this context, application security works. When to escalate problems? Well, uh, let's be positive. Uh, well, I, I have my positive experience with, with that kind of uh, companies as well. Let's try to be positive. Uh, so compliance driven is not a, 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 a bad case. Uh, uh, for me, the most interesting case is when we have uh, uh, the development um, unit. Uh, the development unit is uh, inherently uh, wanting to deliver quality. So the quality minded teams. There are such teams of developers that are quality minded. And I would say that's a in very interesting case because you cannot buy that kind of culture for money. You can buy consultancy to change your application security processes from one day to another, but it, there is no money or <laughs> there is huge money and long time that uh, uh, allows uh, software development workshop have these kind of teams that 
uh, uh, for whom the quality is important and application or, or security, in my opinion, is a sub, sub case of, uh, of quality. So just like a preliminary uh, idea that in case of requirements driven culture, uh, we most of the time face uh, a very basic uh, maturity of, uh, of the application security. So maturity is the application security maturity. Uh, but this is the mass market. This is the, this is the normal case. It's important to deal with that quadrant. Uh, the advanced case of requirements-driven company is what we call uh, security-aware production. So they are already uh, aware and they care about security. Uh, what I was talking that uh, champion sustained a uh, case, uh, in my opinion, many software houses implement that kind of approach, and that's in an advanced uh, case. Uh, engineered regulations like uh, uh, compliance-driven cases, banks are mature in, um, in this. Uh, uh, and other uh, subjects of compliance, because security compliance uh, like spreads on other uh, industries uh, today. And for me, uh, the most uh, exciting case is the case of uh, the collective engagement in, in quality assurance, and I think that we still can help that case is uh, very well, because they can have good security quality without implementing uh, secure development process uh, measures as well. What is the best case of mature and engaged uh, 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 intersection? Uh, I don't know, but that one is the most uh, exciting case in my opinion. Uh, so this is the end of my presentation. It's a miracle that I did it in time. I, it's unusual. Yeah, uh, so I'm open to, to discuss it here uh, outside, or you can access me uh, in this uh, uh, identifiers of me. Yes, please. Um, uh, well, I cannot repeat your question because it's too long. Um, I would say, so the last question was what to do with the external uh, 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 providers uh, or um, uh, developers because they can say that uh, ev the, everything is good about their products. Uh, I would say that uh, um, this is, uh, this is, uh, so for, for doing that kind of uh, service, like interview-based uh, 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 consultancy, uh, you first have to have uh, interest on the other side. So without the, the, the acceptance of importance of your uh, service or, or your 
position of, or of the, the, the method you are doing it, it's very hard because it's much more intimate than making just checklists. So in case of the external uh, providers, well, I, cannot provi I, can, <laughs> I can only say if they don't need uh, uh, more transparency on how they can improve their uh, secure uh, development lifecycle or whatever application security uh, improvement, then the time did not come to, uh, to talk with them. That would be my, my answer to the question, and probably the question that was embedded in my, my answer. And uh, your first question was about uh, how to, to deal uh, with already established organization where uh, the managers uh, are good at uh, um, uh, filling in uh, questions and also uh, show that uh, everything is okay with application security and how, how, how you can help it uh, using the kind of method I, I'm talking about. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, you need, because it's, or, it's, uh, it's uh, organizational development in my approach, and organizational development can not be done without like blessing from the top management, and it cannot be down, done without uh, you or the representative of this kind of change or improvement being at the decision tables or part of the, part of the decision making. So it's very hard to, to come from like uh, uh, under the decision making uh, uh, scene and, and to, to, to try to, to improve the, the organizational processes. So I think that uh, you have to make uh, uh, many step, steps back and to, to try to engage uh, your uh, high management in, in doing uh, that, if there is a need for that. Uh, certainly do not uh, ask uh, questions uh, uh, when you know that you will have stupid answers to that. So don't waste your time. And uh, the other thing is that uh, you can find out tricky questions. Like uh, when you uh, do not uh, uh, cover up the, the, the point of, uh, uh, or, or you make no hint on what is the, the, the point of your question. So you can think about tricky questions that indirectly goes after the subject you are interested in. And in this case, you can trick the person to talk about situations that are, inter are interested to you and probably managers uh, lose their uh, like, uh, awareness what they want to, to distort in talking about their reality. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.